police permit is required for door-to-door -door campaigning in the Tanjong PI by-election. The Election Commission EC, which issued the directive, said that this included walkabouts, which are also considered as a form of campaigning. In a statement today, its chairman, Dato Azhar Azizan Harun, said their times and locations should be made clear for monitoring purposes. He also said EC officials had decided that the police will ask candidates and parties involved in campaigning to abide by several conditions which have been set. The EC chief also said that campaign materials that are seditious and provocative and do not display the name and address of the printer will be removed. Flags that are flown or hung at the side of the road, which pose a danger to the public or obstruct the vision of road users, will also be taken down. Permits are also needed for vehicles fitted with flags and loud hailers, which move from one location to another. Now, there have been no official complaints of federal ministers making announcements or handing out allocations during the campaign period for the Tanjong PI by-election this Saturday. EC Deputy Chairman Azmi Sharom said any complaints should be brought to the relevant authorities as the Commission's scopes of power in this regard is limited. Because of course it depends on the court's decision. So if someone makes a report okay, and then it goes to court, right, then the court will decide, adakah ini salah, is this corruption? Right? And it's so many factors here, Mr. Abdikira. For example, intent, the intention to uh, induce and so on. All this has to be settled in a court of law. Our advice is, if you are saying that it's not make a police report or make a report to SPRM, and if it goes to court, the court will decide. The EC, according to Azmi, has dealt with 90 offences related to the Tanjong PI parliamentary by-election campaign as of today morning. Among the offences include putting the banner in the wrong place and failing to display the printer's name on the campaign material. He noted that police received 31 cases of misdemeanor reporting during the campaign for the by-election, while three complaints were reported to the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, MACC. Meanwhile, early voting in the Tanjong PI parliamentary by-election went on smoothly. The voting process began at 8 a.m. and ended at 5 p.m. at the Pontian Police Headquarters with two polling streams opened by the EC for 280 rank-and-file police personnel to cast their ballots. The candidates also took time to visit the polling centre. The 280 eligible early voters include 210 personnel serving in Kukup and 18 in Pekan Nanas, the two state constituencies which make up the Tanjung PI parliamentary seat. Counting of the votes will be done on polling day on November 16th. This by-election is the ninth to be held since the 14th general election.